Have you ridden in the canyons where the cedar smell is sweet, the sandstone and the malpai form cliffs above the draw, and the breezes blow the grasses, and a person feels complete as you ride along the mesa through a land that's rich and raw? New dawn blazons o'er the ridge line, pink and gold and hue and grace, as darkened shadows scatter neath rock and shrub and tree till the silver shards of sunlight stab forth as in a foot race, bringing shape to all the landscape as the stubborn shadows flee. Ever gently then you hear it, the canyon chorale singing, joins the creaking of the saddle and the sighing of the breeze. Canyon wrens are trilling proudly, morning doves softly winging, as the screech of the red tail causes creatures small to freeze. Then your mind begins to wander as you ride by ancient script, chipped into the sandstone varnish left by man long ago. Did his message hold a promise? Or could it be, as he chipped, that he also loved these canyons his record left to show? Have you rode out on a rim rock overlooking canyon wide, and you see the distant mesa abound with chasm deep? Far below, down near the bottom, water weeps from the cliffside. Crystal clear and cold, refreshing, their pools a canyon seep. And you just sit there and you listen, and you gaze upon this view. From atop your leather throne, your being seems so small, and you marvel at the artwork, every color, every hue, and you feel the ancient spirits, and you hear the silence call. To have ridden in the canyons, a picture with so many pains, the very smell of pinion will permeate your soul. The sandstone cliffs and sandy washes will pulse within your veins. Their spirits, softly speaking, let you know that you are whole. Canyons, thank you.